Did they seriously change the prices on the play and play as well? Oh, come on. Apple is not taking a cut here. You could have had the same prices as the US. Come on. This is not fair, by the way. This is not fair at all. Anyway, guys. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Um, today we're not going to talk about the prices from the from the shop. We're going to talk about a event, a new type of event that will be coming into the game. I'm guessing this type of event will come around the time where the fusion ends. So in about a week or so. So you have to prepare for that one if you want to get some free rewards and stuff while also doing the type of event that will be available as well as that one. And it's the Deck of Fate event. So guys, if you don't know what the Deck of Fate event, let me just give you a quick recap of what that is. And uh, we'll have a look at the video where they shared this, this new event here back in August 11th, 2022, right? The reason that I'm making this video right now is this, cause if you check on, if you've got an Android device or if you check on the recent updates, to raid you'll see right here our first ever deck of fate event is is an update in 6.10 right so they, they included it in the game files so now starting with a spooky halloween edition so this is obviously gonna start around the same time that halloween preparations are gonna be or new champions and stuff maybe a new fusion for halloween so it will be probably a week from now starting around the 20th 21st or starting the week following that for the Halloween weekend, right? So if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Halloween is the final Sunday before the end of the month, something like that. We don't really celebrate Halloween here, but anyway, um, we're gonna have this new event and this is where I found that um, this will actually be around that time, okay? So uh, let's have a quick recap of what the event is gonna be. This is their video back in August and they really, outline some of the details that I want you guys to be careful of when preparing for this type of event. Deck of Fate events. You'll earn Fate points from a bunch of in-game activity. Yeah, so this is how the Deck of Fate event is gonna be. You're gonna get points up there at the top through events that we have already. So this is very, very similar to the other type of new event that we had where you go down uh, the path of light or whatever it is called and you get the rewards at the end. But this one has more RNG in it and the luckier you get, the better it is because you get some types of rewards. So this is how it works. You're gonna see all these cards on your screen and with points, you'll be able to unlock one of the cards, okay? The points, do you get them ideally from uh, objectives? Obviously, they're also gonna offer packs. I don't know if they're gonna offer any other ways, but for this one, they've shown that you can get it from artifact and accessory hunting, so the normal um gear hunting events that we have and then the upgrade artifacts and accessories which is nice because uh you'll get the new artifacts and then you upgrade them and you get points for this one so it works well together um and you'll have to prepare in that okay we'll talk about that in a little bit after we watch this recap video card flip cost at a thousand five hundred so you'll need to do at least four thousand five hundred if you want to get the first type of reward or at least well you have to get lucky to get the first type of reward because it has to be in a sequence, okay? And it really is quite low to get, uh, I mean, it can possibly be like the worst kind of luck to get uh, this, but we'll check on the odds in a little bit. Activities like raiding dungeons, leveling up champions, opening shards, the usual stuff. You'll then use those fate points to flip cards, whatever. So yeah, on, on this over, version, it's gonna be 1,500, and these are what the rewards are gonna be. So. What you get is these guaranteed type of rewards with the gems. From what I look at right now, the gems being the best kind of value, but also chickens. Look at that, a four-star chicken is an obviously solid reward. You have to think of the beginner players, the mid-game players, even the late-game players who still have, you know, lots of champion training to do for some specific champions. You can't get into late game unless you get more 60s, right? That is that is the truth with any account out there. I, I repeat it. Uh, ad nauseum when I do the, the coachings. And uh, what I don't really like is maybe the brews here. These are very weak, weak sauce uh, kind of rewards. 25 energy there. I guess this is the, the weaker version of it. And as you go up, 
you know, you go the green, rare, and of course the epic. I don't know why they didn't include a legendary version of these. Uh, that would have been nice, right? Reward. Anyway. But there's another layer. There are three rarities of cards, and if... So you, you see right there, uh, he did two epics in a row, and then he opened up a rare, which basically canceled the sequence, and he didn't get a special fate chest. Fate is on your side, and you flip three cards of the same rarity one after another, you'll get a bonus reward. Look at that. So he flipped three rare cards in a row, and he actually got a bunch of of brews i don't like the brews as a type of reward because we get them a lot but remember again the newer players out there will find this as a good way to add to their brew count i have a, a big amount of brews because i do like four clown bosses every single day with my keys so that's a lot of, that's a lot of brews accumulating over time since i i almost never use them unless there is a very specific reason to do so a fate chest containing a bunch of awesome items these decks actually the green must be the lowest and then the rare and then the epic yeah, events will yeah. be used to get more from your everyday rating which is something we think everyone can get behind it's an opening by the way he, he opened like 60,000 points 45,000 points for this video and i wonder how many he got like overall keep an eye out for the first of Event and now later he this got year. the epic those, chest, which is those are the two big features a, we wanted to talk about today. But here's look at that. He opened the the epic chest and got a legendary book. So that is actually a pretty solid reward, but you have to get really lucky with that. Unfortunately, there's no way to predict on how you get those rewards. Comparing it to the light, uh, the path of light kind of events, you know where to target the, your points to get each reward. I'm not liking this extra randomness. Of course, eventually. You'll open up enough of the rare so you know whatever is left is going to be epics, but you have no control of which card you're clicking. You might actually even click all the epic cards in a, in a sequence so that you never get the epic reward of three epic um, sequenced cards. It's a bit of eye get, candy before uh, my we... Meaning. So uh, this is how this is going to work. At least how they planned it to work. There are common rare and epic cards indicated by the color of their background. The rarer the card, the better the reward. There's 17 common cards, so the green ones, 13 rare, 10 epics. 10 epics, so you possibly could get three times the epic reward from the fate chest. And uh, these are the type of rewards that you get. So only two four-star chickens, 180 gems in total out of this kind of uh, event. Half a million silver, that's not a lot. Three days XP boost. Um, yeah. The, the rewards are not that amazing, but it all depends on how many points you get and if they give us the normal amount of points that we're used to from, um, you know, gear chase events and um, artifact, artifact enhancement First. events. So it doesn't share. Champions. It doesn't really share on how many. Um, First. How many different Champions. kind of chests that exist for the epic cards or the rare cards, but this is what we know so far. From this, um, from this, uh, what's it called? Deck of Fate uh, type of event. So, I think this is a good time to consider. Okay, where am I at in raid? What do I need? Do I need to to even worry about Deck of Fate? If yes, then yeah, you should start saving up your silver, save up your um, champions for upgrades for champion training events, save up your energy so you're ready when the uh, fate event comes we'll actually be able to get all the rewards in there i'm guessing they'll add some more rewards because we do have the altar of souls added to the game since then and I've, i haven't seen anything in that video and maybe they'll add on top of that um maybe some soul stones immortal soul stones and even eternal soul stones for those big big spenders who want to go all out and open up the whole thing which hopefully gives you something guaranteed as well so until that time i wonder on what else they're going to give us. I, I think they'll introduce the event in, in one way or another. Might even have access to that on the test server. I My thoughts on it is that just, just through this base video is that I don't like the odds. So there's, um, there's 17 common cards, 13 rare cards, and 10 epic cards. So there's, you know, a sequence of events that you can actually never do the three epic cards in a row. And that's what I'm really worried about is it going to be worth it if if there's a chance for me to absolutely get nothing out of this well 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it doesn't um, go at the same time with the fusion. If that's the case, then obviously you go for the fusion. And you don't go for these kind of rewards because the fusion will actually give you, if it's a good one, like let's say Helicath, will give you more um, in the end game. So this was the video, guys. What do you think of this type of event? What do you think of the sequences and the chances? If anybody's good at math, they can actually do the, the odds of you getting uh, n never getting a sequence of 10 epic cards uh, or at least three epic cards out of 30 cards if anybody is good at math leave it down below thank you guys so much subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one see ya